What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. We have finally heard from our boy, Stevie J, dropping some really interesting things about what has happened with the raid. Now, I'm going to talk about this because uh, Stevie J happened to be living in the Miami house when the police came in. He's given an exclusive interview to Fox 5 in New York City. I want to give ample enough of time for our brother in arms, Stevie J, to talk about it. Curtis, what's good, man? You and your feelings about Daphne? Is she with gang them? Or is it that you sucking little rod? <laughs> However it go, I want you to fade all that since it's entertainment let me beat the shit out of you on tv or something don't duck that i'm calling you out what you want to do curtis curtis so first of all let me just do this um stevie j is a hell of a friend all right uh for him to be defending diddy as he has over the years i think that is remarkable remember you know, Faith Evans was with, um, you know, Stevie J, you know, bad boy, you know, he's a record winning producer. So I'm going to just tell you that like this, man, what I like about this is I, I, I like the camaraderie. I like the fact that he's sticking with his guy, uh, no matter what, however, Stevie J, you know, we're going to have to just be real player. We're going to have to be real. Um, I know when you like somebody and you got their back, we don't want them to happen to them. Just like some of us who got Pookie and Ray Ray cousins, when we see them, you know, suffering or, you know, we see them in jail, we want to say free my N word. We want to say that because we don't want to see them suffering, but we know that they be doing shady stuff. We don't want to admit that, but we do know. Here, here's the problem. Did he settle out of court quickly? Okay, and Diddy settled out of court, not with just anybody. I know y'all don't like to hear anybody talk about racism and you know the black man's time is now, and I get that. But Diddy settled out of court with an Asian lady. Okay, she's like part Asian, part white, or whatever. But no, part black. She she is a she is a non-black lady. She's going to be looked at as a non-black woman. That's who. Y'all settled out of court with. Once that happened, Diddy, and it was a high profile non black woman, what happened? All these other people came, true or false, with these sex allegation charges. All right? Now, again, I want to talk uh, from this perspective because the guys don't understand that, okay, well, what this happened in this time of the year. You know, things was different back then. Got it. Here's what I want to tell you. Whatever you've done in the past, even if it was more acceptable, I'm not trying to say it was right. Because there were things that were happening when it came to slavery and racism and women's rights that were more acceptable, but not wrong. I believe that, you know, some of the stuff that some of these entertainers were doing with women or threesomes or whatever kind of weird stuff, that stuff was maybe more acceptable at that time. Okay, you could even say things to people, especially when it came to, you know, certain races or sexualities. It, you know, it was hard for you to get fired for that. Okay, you could openly get up there and say it and nobody heard you. That is not the case now, though. Okay, that is not the case now. And we got to look at it for what that is. Right? What? That is guys are not going to like it. Guys are going to have some issue with it, but it is the truth. Okay. And Stevie J got to understand that. Yo, bro. Diddy has been doing foul stuff for a long time. And I'm going to tell you who I blame. I blame this guy. I blame, I blame, I blame, I blame Stevie J. 
Why do I blame Stevie J? Because guys like y'all let him just do whatever the hell he wanted to do. Okay. Y'all let the man do whatever he wanted to do. Now he feels emboldened to do whatever he's been doing. Nobody ever told him that what he was doing was wrong. And once these guys get all this money, they don't think that nothing is wrong and it is wrong. So they just go ahead doing whatever they feel like doing. Okay. They go around feeling like whatever they can do, they can do it because they can. And the reality is not, nah, you can't just be doing that. No, you cannot. All right. You cannot, you can't be going out there, uh, dealing with different women. You can't go out there, uh, hitting people. You can't be going out there, you know, shooting women in the face. A woman says shine didn't shoot her puff. Daddy shot me in the face with the gun. All right. But Shine took the heat, got Shine deported. All of this because he can't control himself. But when somebody should have told him, hey, bro, you need to chill, bro. You out here, you're doing way too much. This ain't cool, bro. You need to really chill out. Like you need to chill out. Okay. You are out here doing way too much family. And you know, hey, we, we boys and all that. But nah, you can't do that because brothers is afraid that, well, 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 if I say that, uh, 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 he, 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 he ain't going to mess with me no more, man. What am I going to do? That's why you in a situation that you in right now. He thought he was invincible, but he wasn't. And this need to be a lesson to every black man to the sound of my voice. Brothers, I'm trying to tell you, I'm trying to tell you, man, this can happen to all of us. All right, not just some. Oh, we need to make we need to act like it will happen. We need to act like it, dog. We need to act like this is going to happen to all of us if we don't get it together. So, guys, what do you think? It's your boy Shady Jackson back at it again with another episode of a Celebrity Junk. Appreciate sure for all you just heard the bell. We're out.